CataractCoach.com, the easy way to learn fake with chop. And that is to start with divide and conquer and then just sub-chop each little piece. So here's a residue in a case here, white cataract. You can see it's a little bit of a small rexus, so that's going to be a challenge. I'd say the Rex is probably less than 5 millimeters, maybe 4.678, somewhere in that range. Now, you got to get that phago tubing out of the view also. Look at that tubing. You can't have that phago tubing coming in your view. So let's see a groove down the middle. So what the surgeon's going to do here is basically do a divide and conquer. And then each piece you bring up, you can chop. And that gives you an easy way just to learn how to manipulate the chopper, how to use the two instruments together. So here you can see a groove down the middle with this white cataract. And the white cataract I chose to show you for this video because it's easy to see, right? There's the Rex, it's very easy to see because it's stained blue. And there's the Nucleus, easy to see because it's completely white and opaque. And there's the groove down the middle. So by doing this groove down the middle, you know it's, it, you're going to debulk the Nucleus as well. And so do your divide and conquer. If you're a divide and conquer surgeon, at first there's nothing wrong with that. Enjoy what you enjoy. But if you want to learn FACO, CHOP, and I think you should learn CHOP, an easy way is to just start here with your divide and conquer. Uh, get your phaco tubing out of your view, please. So now <laughs> get, get the nucleus split into pieces. You could even do a stop and chop here. We're just splitting two halves and try to bring up each half. But even you can rotate it here and do a quadrant, you know, divide and qu conquer, four quadrant. And once you've achieved your four quadrants, each quadrant that's then brought up to the iris plane can then be sub-chopped into eighths. Easy for you to hold the nucleus with the phaco probe. And then once you're holding the nucleus with the phaco probe, with that vacuum power, and then you can use the chopper to help break it up. So again here, now going inside the eye, rotating again. So this is going to be a full-on four-quadrant divide and conquer. And this is a pretty good job. So for a resident doing this case, this is a very reasonable technique, a four-quadrant divide and conquer. So now a little bit more grooving here. But the easy part again, like I told you, you want to just sub-chop the pieces that you, as you bring them up. Now, you can see the resident here is using a ball tip chopper. Sometimes that can give a, a little more sense of safety for the resident. You can see there's an attending squirting the eye. So a little bit more grooving here. And now let's see, splitting or rotating? Splitting, there we go. So it looks like there's a hemi-nucleus and two quadrants. So now bringing those pieces, rotating them, get, getting them split now. And then white cataract is relatively easy to see if you have a good split because... It's so opaque. And then what you can do is you bring the pieces up, and then are we going to do it now? Another groove? Yeah. Let me see. Are we chopping or are we grooving? Grooving again. So this would be a full-on four quadrant. So you can do this, get four complete quadrants, and then as the pieces are brought up, chop each quarter into two eighths. And that allow you, for this case, you can do four chops, and it'll be satisfying. And as you keep doing this and practicing this, you'll get the idea and you'll get the concept. It'll make a lot of sense. It's one of these things where you just have to practice it. So now with the full four quadrants, it's time to get these all separated. Okay, enough grooving already. Let's separate them. And almost, there it is. That's great. So now there's a quadrant that looks like fully separated. And you can rotate and, and bring up the other quadrants, get them fully separated. And then chop at the iris plane. Eventually, you'll work your way up from doing divide and conquer and sub-chopping each quadrant to just doing stop and chop. Stop and chop mean, meaning... Do one groove to create two hemi-nuclear halves and then chop each half. And then from stop and chop, you're going to make the transition to full chop. No grooving needed, period. So you can see here the resident surgeon is um, maybe taking a break. And now going back inside the eye and getting this quadrant split here. Now you should have four distinct quadrants. And then I'll show you the chop will be easy and the rest of the case is very quick. Now you notice that Look at this. We took four minutes just to create the quadrants. That's the beauty of chop. You could have these quadrants immediately. There you go. There's a quadrant that's chopped into two eighths, and that can be taken down. But you can see how much more efficient just straight chop would be. You'll be able to go inside the bag and create four quadrants in a matter of seconds instead of a matter of minutes. Again, another quadrant brought up and then chopped into eighths. Very nicely done. I like how the eye is staying in primary. Good draping, by the way. And speculum looks good as well. So everything looks pretty nice here. Good taking your time. I have sped the video up slightly. So actually, it wasn't just four minutes to create that four quadrants. It was six, right? Because the video is at one and a half speed. And here, bringing the pieces up. Again, nice chop. This is the way you can learn to chop. 
Do your divide and conquer still. Each quadrant that you create, bring it up to the Irish plane and use a chopper and chop it. And if you, even if the chop fails, it doesn't matter. You can just emulsify that one quadrant like you would have anyway. Easy way to learn FACO chop. It's something you definitely need to do. Here's the last quadrant. It can just be emulsified down. Nicely done, young resident. Keep up the good work. And remember, you still have to transition to full on chop. And then you're going to have a very nice outcome for this case. Thanks for watching. And remember, we have a contest coming up, a resident video contest. You can win money from Cataract Coach. All you got to do is follow the instructions here. Submit your three-minute video with your voice. No copyrighted music in the background, please. And you can submit it for, per these instructions. You got to go to cataractcoach.com. Yes, you have to leave YouTube for a moment. Go there. Click on today's video. You'll see this picture here. Click on it. It'll give you the full details of how to upload your video and the full rules and regulations. June 1 is the deadline, so start getting those videos in, and the winner will be announced live at that Zoom broadcast on June 15th. Check it out.